Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm doing, today I'll be unboxing series 30 of Spin Master Monster Jam for 2023. So before we get into the review, let's take a look at all the trucks that are on the set. We got the Legacy Trucks Max D, Faced Out Dragon, uh, Legacy Trucks Earthshaker, Rainbow Blast, Steel Reveal Blue Thunder, Moss Jam Fire Rescue, Fuel Academy, and the Chase Piece Carnage Asada. So we're gonna start today's review with the Legacy Trucks Max D. Okay, so here it is, the Legacy Trucks Max D. Um, um, just uh, the uh, typical Max D body, but they did make a change to it. On the roof, it now just says World World Finals Champion. It no longer says like doesn't show like how many times he's won now. Um, they probably changed it because well, there's more than one Max D driver. I mean, not just Tom Mens. I mean, you got drivers like Blake Granger who drive it. So yeah, now it just says World Champion. So yeah, um, then. Uh, it's also a new variation, so uh, silver chassis, or excuse me, silver roll cage, gray chassis, silver rims with PKT printed tires. For some reason, they switched it to the uh, the uh, standard uh, rear engine chassis. I don't know. I do not know why. Um, but yeah, that's basically all you can say for Max D. And the next one we're going to take a look at is the Faced Out Dragon. Okay, so here it is, the uh, Faced Out Dragon. Uh, on this one, the graphics are not very warped here. I mean, they don't look as warped as they... This one's like not very good. I mean, you can see a little bit of graphics warping on the wing and a little bit around the eye area. Um, a little bit around the mouth as well. Yeah, this is probably the worst Faced Out face out truck we've gotten this year. This one, in terms of the body, this one is, this one's not good. Um, I don't know what they were thinking by doing this one. I mean, it's noticeable, but I mean, it's, it, it's just not as warped as I imagine it would be. Um, I mean, I was expecting them to maybe warp the color of the horns as well. Yeah, this one, this one's not very good, um, but otherwise it's got a green roll cage, a yellow chassis, and on the back here you got a green tire with a green rim, a black black tire with a yellow rim, and then a orange tire with a yellow rim, and then another black tire with a yellow rim. And that's basically all you can say for the Faced Out Dragon. So this is probably my least favorite of the uh, Faced Out uh, series, unfortunately. And then next up, we're going to take a look at the Legacy Trucks Earthshaker. So here we go, the 2023 Legacy Trucks Earthshaker. This one looks very cool. And uh, for the first time, it's actually a new casting uh, because the uh, dirt bed is gone. And now it's just the, it's now, it's now blank. Uh, uh, it does have the, uh, it does have the halo sticking out. Uh, According to Monster Jam OCD, uh, I have been informed that the reason why they couldn't do the full Halo because it because it would break, so they just have a little, so they have just a small portion of the Halo sticking out. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the most accurate Earthshaker we've ever gotten in terms of the body. I mean, Earthshaker in real life does not run yellow rims, but I mean, but yeah, for all you customer customizers out there, you can always body swap it onto the Showtime Earthshaker. So yeah, but yeah, as I mentioned, it's also got a black roll cage, uh, uh, gray chassis, uh, black tires, yellow rims with BKT printing. Uh, this one is very cool. This is probably the best earth shaker we've ever gotten. Just the camera a little bit. There we go. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the Steel Reveal Blue Thunder. All right, so here we go. Here is the Steel Reveal Blue Thunder. And you'll notice for the first time, they actually did like a, uh, they did as, like they are now doing Zamac 
for the steel reveal trucks um, because the other two, the bare metal is just printed on, but now they're doing like an actual like reflective Zamac for the for this series now, which is kind of disappointing. I I think a lot of people are kind of upset because like okay, the other two, the first two are printed on, and now you're doing a Zamac. Uh, but all that aside, this is a very this is a very cool truck. Let's take a look at it. So. Uh, you got the Blue Thunder logo with all the lightning, the Moss Jam logo. It's still got the it's still got the rust detail, which is pretty cool. The little primer scuffs. You got the feel the energy on the back tail lights with more primer scuffs, more primer scuffs right here on the negative space bar. Moss Jam logo, Blue Thunder logo, more primer scuffs. Uh, some primer scuffs going across the grill, which is pretty cool. Uh, the grill is blue. Uh, the headlights are the same though. No, no MossJam.com, I don't know why that's gone. You got more primer scuffs going across the uh, roof and the hood there with the lightning and the Blue Thunder logo. It's got a silver chassis, or excuse me, silver roll cage, blue chassis and blue rims. And yeah, that's basically all you can say for the Steel Reveal Blue Thunder. This is probably the best, so far the best Steel Reveal truck we've gotten. And next up, we're gonna be taking a look at Rainbow Blast. All right, so here you go. This is the uh, new Rainbow Blast. This is a custom concept truck uh, made by Spin Master. Uh, this was actually designed by an employee's uh, uh, little girl. Um, so basically, I guess uh, the daughter drew uh, a truck in like maybe art class or something and uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, this started out as a drawing and then it became an actual die cast. Uh, this is actually pretty cool, very simple, very simple. Um, so yeah, this is not this is not what you guys think it is. This is just a this is just a uh, truck with vibrant colors. That's all it is. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the uh, truck here. Uh, uh, no headlight printing, but there's grill printing, the Rainbow Blast logo on the hood. Uh, and then you got like uh, all the colors like warped, all the colors like warping together uh, into like this little zigzag arrow uh, with the black roof. You got all the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, uh, uh, and purple. Um, Monstrum logo right there, Rainbow Bless logo, more of the uh, coloring. Um, and then uh, a little, little bit of white here. You could say you could say the base color of it with being it black and white, you could say it's like a chalkboard. I don't know, kind of look like a chalkboard uh, in terms of the base color. Rainbow Blast on the back here. Uh, same thing on this side, and it's got a uh, black roll cage, purple chassis. Uh, uh, all the all tires are blue, but different rim colors. You got a green rim right here, a yellow rim, orange rim, and a red rim. So, uh, in terms of the chassis setup, they're doing the they're uh, doing the rainbow. So, the chassis and the tire and rims are basically part of the rainbow. Yeah, this is a pretty cool truck. Like I said, it's not, like I said to like I said, parents, this is not what you think it is. All it is is just a truck with a vibrant color. So yeah. Um, so now we're gonna get into the top three, my top three favorites of the mix. Uh, we're gonna start, uh, the next truck we're gonna take a look at is Fuel Academy. So here we go. This is the brand new Fuel Academy, another brand new concept by Spin Master. This is part of the, this is the first of the two trucks for the new subcategory called Trucks on Duty. All This is basically uh, a uh, school bus type monster truck. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at it. You got the Fuel Academy logo, Moss Jam logo, the uh, the uh, uh, little, uh, the uh, bolts, and then the uh, windows and these sides right here. Uh, it's got like a futuristic looking hood. Here's the grill and the headlights. Fuel Academy right there with the uh, 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 different school bus lights. Uh, stop sign right there, Fuel Academy Moss Jam logo, and then the same uh, detail on the other side. 
And on the back, it says Fuel Academy with all the bus lights and the back windows and then the uh, emergency exit door. And then nothing on the roof. And then it's got a black roll cage, gray chassis with yellow rims and black tires. And that's basically all you can say for Fuel Academy. And moving on to the second to the last truck of the review, this is Monster Jam Fire Rescue. All right, so here, you, all right, so here we go. This is the new Monster Jam Fire Rescue, another brand new concept for uh, 2023. This one is probably my favorite of the mix um, because it's a uh, ambulance, like it's an ambulance-like vehicle or a paramedic vehicle. But yeah, this is the first time we're getting an ambulance ambulance slash paramedic like vehicle so let's take a look at it so yeah you got all the uh, uh, ambulance lights right there Moss Jam Fire and Rescue Moss Jam logo right there the uh, fire department logo uh, the uh, little stripe going across the body you got the flames right there a similar a similar this one's got some bolts on it but this is a similar uh, hood mold to that of Fuel Academy. You got the flames on the hood right there, uh, the side mirrors, um, and then you got the uh, more ambulance lights with the fire department logo on the back here. You got the doors and the uh, caution tape and the ambulance lights. And then same thing on this side here. Um, and then it's got a black roll cage, gray chassis with red rims and black tires. And that's basically all you can say for the Moss Jam Fire and Rescue. And last but not least, we have Carnage Asada. All right, so here's the next, here's the final truck we're gonna take a look at, uh, cause there's only eight in the mix. The reason why there's only eight in this mix is because uh, one of the trucks that was planned to be in this mix was canceled. They were gonna release Wolf's Head again, but because Wolf's Head uh, uh, got sold to another Moss Truck team and it's under a different name, uh, the, uh, Wolf's Head name is now expired to use for Spin Master. Anyway, let's take it the review of this truck. It's the same casting as Swine and Dash and Glaze Machine. Um, these, uh, this casting is very bulky. I mentioned this a lot of times that this is a very big casting. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the graphics. Uh, you got the Carnage Asada logo, uh, all the all the different tacos uh, on the side here with some flames, Mushroom logo. The window, uh, headlights, grill printing, Carnage Asada on the hood, uh, Carnage Asada logo again, and it's got some chips. They kind of look like Doritos to me. I don't know why. You got the roof vent right there in the spoiler. And then this side, you got the Carnage Asada logo, flames, mushroom logo, uh, gas cap, and uh, I think that's an air vent. The window again, uh, and you got more tacos on the side, uh, tailgate. Shows all the food truck lights and the door and the windows and everything, the doors, and then got more tacos on the back. And then let's take a look at uh, uh, the. Uh, there's no puns this time. It says just says Carnage Asada, the Carnage Asada logo with the chips in the background. It says one for four dollars and three for ten dollars. Um, so I think the reason why there's probably no puns on this one is because, well, the name of the truck is a pun itself because it's a play on carne asada, which is a type of uh, Mexican Mexican uh, food. And yeah, and it's got a blue roll cage, gray chassis, yellow rims with black tires, and that's basically all you can say for the carnage asada truck. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Uh, that was the uh, unboxing and review of it. Uh, so yeah, there you have it guys. That was the review of ser the unboxing and review video of series 30. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to, uh, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. So you don't miss a new video when I upload one and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.